Stock futures are ticking up slightly ahead of a big decision from the Federal Reserve. Yeah, in just hours, the Fed is expected to announce an interest rate hike in hopes of combating rising inflation. CBS 4's Deborah Souverain is live in Miami with how it can impact all of us. Deborah. Well, Candace and Maribel, the central bank plans to increase interest rates by another half percentage point, and that would be the largest bump in 22 years. And a move like that will have rates higher from on everything from credit cards to mortgages. So where are we going to see the impact first? Well, your credit card interest rates will be among the first to jump. The move will send financing costs higher for many forms of consumer borrowing, especially on short term loans. Now, the Federal Reserve held the U.S. economy through the COVID-19 pandemic by dropping rates to nearly zero. But now the Fed is facing a new challenge, crushing inflation without bringing on a recession. So their hope is that the federal interest rate hikes will eventually slow down spending and hold prices down. However, here's the dilemma. The job market is booming right now and increasing interest rates will likely change all of that. This is a situation where wages have moved up at the highest rate in, in a very long time, and people are able to quit their jobs and move to better paying jobs. They have to push up the unemployment rate, and in the past, when you've pushed up the unemployment rate, you've almost never been able to avoid a full-fledged recession. Now, as for mortgages, I'm sure everyone who has a mortgage knows that over the past two months, rates have gone up about 2%. So it's already been baked in to the 15 to 30 year mortgages. However, if you're looking to buy a home right now, you'll definitely be paying more because this will be increasing rates there as well. We're live in Miami. I'm Deborah Subarain, CBS for this morning.